Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another video that is uncut, unedited and talking about truth. Today I would like to talk about potassium. It's a mineral that I believe lacking in many people, people's diet and uh, creates a lot of amazing side effects that I would like to discuss. People are literally unaware that they're not sick or anything and just lack of potassium in the body and the reason is that is potassium is not easy to get from your diet whether you're eating healthy or nutritious or not before I start my video can you please do me a huge favor click like subscribe and hit that notification button so you won't miss any future videos all right uh, another thing is this video comes under umbrella trust me I'm not a doctor Guys and girls, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a guy that like reading research papers and translating them to simple English. Information that you're unlikely to get from your doctor because doctors interested in medicine, I'm not. I'm interested in lifestyle, longevity, and general well-being. Let's start talking about potassium. So um, let's talk about main reasons of uh, potassium deficiency. I mentioned that it's a lack of consumption of nutritious food. Nutrition's, nutritious food is really hard. Well, there's nutritious food everywhere, but it's really hard to come by food rich in potassium. And I will discuss about it later. Stick around uh, to end of the video when I actually mention all the foods that you consume. If you don't want to take as a supplement, all the foods you can consume to get your daily potassium intake. That's the one side, we cannot get enough from food. Another side is potassium is part of electrolytes. So electrolytes will contain salt, magnesium and potassium. And it tends to be that they charge separate differently and potassium will compete with sodium. Our diet is very rich in sodium. As a result of that, even if you consume enough potassium, the, the sodium that you consume may cancel a good amount of potassium that is already in your body. Another big one, and, and it's a problem in many countries, is frequent use of alcohol or excessive use of alcohol. Alcohol, not discriminating potassium only, alcohol will flush most of the minerals from the body and deprive body of most of the minerals terrible stuff we can celebrate with it but excessive consumption leads to all sorts of problems another one is people that drink a lot of fluid um, fluid basically go to straight to kidneys and kidneys will flush with rest of the minerals um, out through urine and excessive consumption of fluid will trigger flushing sodium and potassium out of the body another one is hard work hot conditions or increased sports activity and they kind of go under the same umbrella the reason is that because those conditions will make you either drink a lot sweat a lot or both together so through perspiration through drinking a lot you flush in those minerals and cream potassium out of uh, out of body well, let's discuss signs, how you, actually, I'm not a doctor, but if you really would like to um, understand levels of potassium in your body, I would go and do blood test. However, because uh, levels of potassium change in literally on a daily basis, unless you eat the same thing and drink the same thing every day, uh, blood test may not give you good indication levels of potassium so i think the way the symptoms um, uh, kind of manifest themselves uh, you may find out whether you're deficient in potassium or not one of them is basically touches in many deficiencies but potassium would be one of them is weakness and fatigue weakness and fatigue is a result of many things and potassium does not have direct correlation with energy production in the body however potassium works as part of electrolytes and if we could electrolyze this balance we not uh, contracting muscles well and that will result in uh, 
feeling of uh, weakness. Fatigue would come with potassium interferes with insulin uh, um, secretion. And that basically will overwhelm the body with the sugars, uh, mimicking insulin resistance. If you still don't have um, or you still don't have uh, type 2 diabetes or type 1 diabetes, and will mimic fa fatigue that uh, people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes experience. So we need to watch for uh, signs of fatigue. Could be literally anything. Could be lack of vitamin B. Could be uh, dysfunctional, dysfunctional mitochondria. Could be many things, but potassium one of them. Um, the second one is a big one, is muscle cramps and spasms. Um, usually muscle cramps are associated for some reason with uh, um, cooling down muscle too much, for example, icy conditions, or exercising muscle too much. Um, I'm not sure how much true is that, but most of the muscle spasms would indicate almost immediately a lack of potassium. And muscle spasms it's something i experienced in my life there were points in time where i exercised a lot and exercised intensely and uh, i tend to sweat a lot in the summer and i started getting very significant muscle cramps um and i couldn't not understand why i started eating more bananas as most of us would do because people say oh eat, ba eat bananas bananas rich in potassium first of all it's not true and second is um it's when you eat a lot of bananas you get more fructose than uh, potassium i would not resolve potassium deficiency with bananas uh, so that's my story I had a lot of uh, leg cramps the moment i start taking supplements all cramps stop all good uh, another one that may manifest itself are uh, digestive problems um, potassium as part of uh, electrolyte activity uh, connects our uh, brain and the gut and if that connection is not strong, the food may actually um, get stuck in the gut with slower digestion. And slower digestion will result in constipation. Not very common side effect. Um, could be also not drinking enough water or not eating fibrous food, but it's one of the side effects. If it's combined with others that already experienced, that could be the case. And another one, big one, and again, look, I'm not a doctor and could be more serious condition, but it's something that I personally experienced and I got scared. And I started talking to doctor, taking cholesterol tests and all of that, and was all good and I still had the problem. Um, so the problem is uh, heart palpitations or another effect as skipping beat you know how you sit and suddenly heart skips the beat it's really terrible feeling and and, and i thought uh, look I'm, I'm a healthy person i'm exercising um eating nutritious food why i'm having this it's another side effect uh or symptom that i had on top of the leg cramp that was indicating lack of potassium in my body so if you got um, um that feeling and you going to doctor and doing your blood test and your heart uh, health is all right um, check out potassium the another one that i did not list and it's quite interesting one because if you ever experience twitching eye or twitching uh, cheek that's also a result in lack of potassium and it's the most common one and people believe oh it's happening because i'm stressed yes possible but with the stress it would come and go so for example if you're not stressed the eye wouldn't twitch if your eye would or cheek would twitch when you're seemingly not stressed uh, that would be a lack of potassium in the body um, so let's talk about food um, that high in potassium and again I don't believe average person can get them from food but why not so Beet greens, that's the part of beetroot that's uh, top of it. I'm not sure who eats that. I cannot stomach it. Uh, so cooked um, bunch of those leaves would be, if you eat every day, it would be 26% of uh, recommended daily intake. You can eat clams. Um, I think 100 grams is enough to have 18% of recommended daily intake white potatoes that i don't recommend to eat as part of nutrition but if you decide to eat and you eat um, 
if I daily recommend dose of those potatoes, it will be 16% of potassium consumed. Sweet uh, potatoes would be 14%. Um, avocado, extremely nutritious uh, um, food and should be part of everyone diet, everyone's diet who can and love eating avocados. But it's uh, one avocado would be only 14% of recommended daily intake of potassium. And bananas, everyone believe bananas is the best source of potassium. One whole big banana would be 10% of daily recommended potassium. So literally, you need to eat 10 bananas a day to get your potassium levels uh, up. I would, I can, I can confidently say if you eat 10 bananas a day, you will end up with uh, fatty liver disease. And by the way, if you don't know what fatty liver disease and what fructose does to your body, uh, how it kills your liver, please watch um, above my um, uh, fructose and glucose uh, video that I posted earlier. So what can we do to get the right amount of potassium besides uh, living healthy life? I would recommend, it's one of the things, I don't like supplements, but it's one of the things that I recommend taking as a supplement. The reason is that that supplement is not any different from sodium. We we'll always add sodium to our food. By the way, some companies use potassium uh, as sodium replacement in their food. The reason is that if you take supplement of potassium, uh, clean uh, food grade potassium, it would actually taste like sodium. You almost won't be able to tell a difference. So I'm taking half teaspoon of potassium supplement a day. Don't have any of those problems that I discussed before. And I'm glad that I discovered it by um, sheer luck. I was reading one of the researches and I was like, wow, I've got this and I've got this and I've got that. And as a result, I started experimenting and voila, don't have those problems. Uh, what I'll do, I'll post down below a link where I get my potassium. It's dirt cheap. And if you experience any symptoms, feel free to click on the link and get it. I get it through Amazon, delivered literally in three, four days. And that kill of potassium that I buy enough for me for half a year. Um, the shelf life is phenomenal. It's like sodium, it's almost not expiring or doesn't have expiry date. Or if it does, uh, it's pretty you know, long expiry date. So please take care of yourself and let me know what other things you would like to talk about, what symptoms you experience. I'm not a doctor, but there may be uh, minerals, vitamins and other lifestyle changes I can recommend you to make sure that your life become of better quality and you enjoy it more for longer. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane. Until next time.